Hello. In my last video, you heard me make some statements about the pastor in Florida who wants to burn the Quran, about Christianity, and about my faith in general. You also heard me make the statement that I should probably just convert anyway. The reason I said that? Well, watch my last video. About ten years ago, I met several friends from the Middle East who happened to work with me. Uh, they were Muslim, and though I didn't know really much about the Muslim faith at the time, I realized that they had soon proved to be my best friend. Um, I started to notice certain things that they would do during the certain times of day, and it seemed somewhat repetitive, so I began to ask them about it. Well, they began to uh, show me what Islam was, and about the preachings from uh, the different prophets. I soon found that their faith was very, very similar to mine. So that began my studies in Islam. About a year ago, the last one of my friends had finally moved away. He was able to go back to his family and be with, uh, be with them once again, so I was very happy for him. And then I found myself having to study Islam on the internet. I hadn't yet converted because there was one specific issue that I had that I wasn't sure about, and I needed to get that taken care of before I can do my conversion. Well, I came across this YouTube channel, which is uh, youtube.com forward slash Dawah Addict. I decided to write him a letter about my specific issue. And the issue was more along the lines of, am I right for Islam, and is Islam right for me? Well, he wrote me a response back that I would have never imagined getting. Not only did I understand his information here, but I also felt it here. I knew it was time for me to become a Muslim. It was time for me to do my conversion. So I contacted a friend at my new job, who I found out is Muslim as well. Um, he agreed to take me to the mosque, and once we got there, we took off our shoes, we walked inside, and we stood in line for the afternoon prayers. When we began the prayers, I had to follow along with him because I was unsure. Uh, though I was familiar with the prayer, I just um, hadn't yet mastered uh, the prayers, so I, I followed along with him. I renewed uh, a promise that I made to myself, and I also made the promise to Allah at that point in time. When our prayers were done, then that began my Shahada. Um, we knelt down while we were doing it, and I'm very glad that they did that uh, because I wasn't feeling well. Um, I was a little bit sick, I was sweating really bad, and uh, my ears were plugged. So there were several times that either they or I had to repeat things uh, because either I misheard or because I repeated something in, inaccurately. Um, you'll see that in the video. Um, but after we completed the Shahada, uh, we went into some promises that I had to make, uh, such as staying away from alcohol, from drugs, uh, from sex outside of marriage, and some other things. And you'll see that, all that in the video. Uh, once that was complete, everyone welcomed me to Islam. And they also brought me a packet, which has some information in it, uh, including the Quran and some other books. And I really appreciate that because they're very specific and it helps me with uh, what I need to learn as a convert. What do I think about everything after it was all said and done? Well, I found myself at ease. I finally, I finally had a religion that I can believe in. Something that I guess was me for the longest time. And I'm actually proud now because I can actually say that I am a Muslim. Enjoy my Shahada. Thank you.